the annual King Edward School Hockey and Rugby Festival is one of the highlights of the winter sports season, with teams from all across South Africa making their way to Houghton to test their mettle against the best of the best. What I love about the Easter Festival in Kays is it's full of spirits. Everyone's always in a good mood. It's good hockey, good rugby. It's just an all-around good event to come to. School sports at a festival like this is, um, is good for the game because it's a form of development. Um, and I think you know, it's safe to say that development is sorely lacking in South African sports this, uh, uh, at the moment, really, across board. And I think it's nice because this is where you spot some talent. I think it's fantastic to see young boys getting an opportunity to play against teams from other uh, provinces. And I think that's really special for the boys. Having missed the last two editions of this festival, the lads of Graham College were eager to show off their skills on the rugby field in their first matchup against Durban Boys Northwood. Our first opponent is Northwood and uh, the team is feeling quite confident that uh, we are going to do well. We don't really go on tour so it's quite a privilege to be invited here and I think we have to come and show what small teams can do at big tournaments. The lads from Grahamstown didn't disappoint on debut, running in four tries to Northwood's two to finish the match 34-10 victors. Bradley Christian adding 14 with his boot alone. We laid the foundation early on. We, our forwards roughened them up a bit. Then we gave time to the back line to run with the ball. So I think we did well. Queen's College were up next on their first day of the festival as they took on Parktown Boys. The Queenians were looking to make it two wins from six in what has been a tough start to the season. Our opponents today are Parktown, so and um, we've seen a bit of them at the Great Peer Festival. I think um, they're in the same boat as us and they've lost a few games and so have us. So today we'll be looking to get our season back on track and yeah, Hopefully we can do this. The boys from the Eastern Cape swept Parktown boys aside thanks to a 24-16 victory before the hosts took to their home ground to take on the Cape's Ron de Bosch boys in the match of the day. It's KS Festival, we've got quite a young team, but um, we just want to go from strength to strength and just improve every game. KS are always strong and I think we should focus on our strengths and not to worry too much about them. But I think we'll be able to take them up front and then once, once the opportunity presents itself guard wide. The match didn't live up to the hype, with a period of 40 minutes going by without a single point being scored on the day. Cares would display the better discipline though, as they held out to clinch the low-scoring fixture 13-3. I think what we learned from this match mainly was just that discipline. We've got to trust the next to you and then just stay to feed things like that. It's costing us crucially. Grey High were last on the opening day, taking on Menlo Park off the back of what had been the greatest comeback in school rugby this season against Paul Roos. I think our first match this afternoon against Menlo Park will be a tough clash and then we still have to come across Ronnebosch and Parkdown later on and I know like you never know what to expect from them. Grey would dominate the first half proceedings and enter the break at 13-3 before Menlo Park gave them a taste of their own medicine in the second half. Scoring two converted tries to Gray's single penalty in the second stanza, the Menlo Park boys condemned Gray to a tight 16-17 loss. First half we came out firing, second half we tried to defend the lead and then scored it and go away in the end. So what we can learn is that no matter what the score, you have to keep on fighting till the last minute. It's a disappointing pull to swallow, but all I'm trying to tell the boys is that's, uh, that's how rugby goes. The one weekend you're up high, next weekend you're down at the bottom. It's just how you can pick yourself up after defeat. Congratulations to everyone at King Edward School for a fantastic weekend of school sports and a big congratulations to Alderain and Menlo Park who managed to remain unbeaten on the rugby fields. Good luck to all the teams for the season ahead.